Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a sultry fall glam. I also stumbled upon my Hocus Pocus palette from last year. I know ColourPop just launched a new one, but I'm using the old one today, as well as a bunch of BoxyCharm and Ipsy products that I didn't use on camera so that I could try them all out in one full face. So we're gonna do fall glam and an eye tutorial. There's also a giveaway because I have two of these palettes. So I'm giving one away in the video. All of that is gonna be explained after the intro is done. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe because I upload every other day. That'll be the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you wanna jump into a tutorial on this look right here using a bunch of Ipsy BoxyCharm products, ColourPop eyes, like super glamorous, I'm loving it. Let's jump into it. All right, I'm gonna start off in eyes and I wanna do something grungy and fall and smoky. I decided to jump into my Hocus Pocus ColourPop palette. They recently launched a new ColourPop collection. I'm gonna use the original one, however, and I was cleaning out my giveaway bin and I found another one. I had gotten like six of these when they launched last year because me, my mom, my sister, and my sister-in-law all ordered for each other because we kept getting kicked off the site. I don't know if you remember, when the palette launched, there was a whole mess where orders got canceled, so nobody knew what was coming, so we all ordered extra, and we ended up having like 10 palettes between the four of us. So I did a bunch of giveaways last year, and I found a whole other palette. So we're gonna do a giveaway in today's video where someone's gonna get the Gather Round Sisters palette. This is the palette right here, but this one's mine. This is the one I'm using today. You'll be getting a brand new one. So if you wanna enter to win one of those, like this video, comment anything down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I'm gonna jump into a tutorial with it, and I think I wanna go for something green and gold. So I'm gonna start with the shade Bewitched right here on a fluffy brush. I'm taking a very small amount of that, and I am gonna build it up. This is a pretty pigmented palette, so I don't wanna go in with too much right away. I did prime my lids already and set that down with a translucent powder. So I'm just gonna slowly build up that green in the crease, and I will end up really smoking it out down here, but I do wanna build it up in small layers. And that's gonna be the base for the smoky eye. It's gonna look more blended, I promise. Now that that's down, I'm gonna take a little bit of On Toast right here, which is a warm neutral, and I'm gonna take that on the tip of the exact same brush and I am just gonna softly blend out the edges to warm that up and diffuse everything together. Switching to a clean, fluffy brush, I'm gonna go into Hello Salem, which is up here. It is a, it's actually pretty close to my skin tone, so I'm actually gonna take that up under the brow and then blend that down and into the crease and then back up. And that's just going to cause everything to look a little bit more blended together. Originally, I was gonna go into Brew Potion, the glittery shade up there, but I'm really liking the taupey one down here. So I'm gonna go into Wench, which is a taupey shimmer. It's got a little bit of like an olive undertone, but it is definitely on that like neutral taupey side. So I'm going to take that on the lid. I actually really like that. Going back into that fluffy brush from earlier, I'm gonna softly diffuse the edge right there, and then grabbing that other first brush with no additional product, and I'm just gonna blend over the edge so that everything looks pretty blended. I'm gonna do this on this eye, throw on some mascara and a quick lash, and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. My friend Liz called me, so I just spent the past hour and a half on the phone. So I've literally been just like touching up my base the whole time. I did finish the eyes. I just took black liner in the waterline and a little bit of the same two colors we used up top just to smoke out the lower lash a tiny bit. And we're gonna jump right into bronzer. So I have the Vesca bronzer from my BoxyCharm a couple months ago that I'm still loving, and I'm still using the 10 year anniversary brush from Base Blue Cosmetics. Still my favorite bronzer brush, 
and I'm just going to add some depth to the skin. I'm not going in super heavy with the bronzer. I do want, you know, a little bit of warmth, but we are going a little more fall, so I don't want to be quite as bronzy and sun-kissed, but we still do want that, like, warmth and definition. All right, I'm going to take a tiny bit of setting powder because I'm a little bit shinier than I want to be. I used the Tarte Glotion from my BoxyCharm Premium Box just to see how it wore under the foundation. And I'm a little glowier than I want to be. It's not bad. It's just a little bit too much. So I did tone that down a little. Also, out of my Ipsy this month, I will be using the Glow on the Go Jet Setter Highlighter from Galactic and the YC Collection Liquid Blush. This one is in the shade Wayaba. It's a really pretty, like, corally terracotta. So I am going to apply this to the high points of the cheek and really hope that I didn't apply too much. And I'm gonna take a stippling brush and a mirror and just blend out the blush. Oh, that color is beautiful. It is absolutely not disrupting the powder underneath. It is just seamlessly blending on top and it lifts everything up. This is beautiful and I love this color. This might be, depending on how this wears, a new favorite product because I notoriously don't like liquid blushes, but this looks nice. I'm gonna grab my sponge from earlier and just kind of press over that it is blending out seamlessly and I'm not getting any grabbing or any areas where the blush looks heavy, but I do just want to use the sponge just to make sure if there is any extra that it gets picked up, but that's really stunning. And then grabbing that highlighter, just going to add to the outer C of the eye, which is going to be brow down to cheekbone. And I'm going to take that same brush that we use with the blush and just use that to blend everything out. That's beautiful. So I know I didn't use these in my Ipsy video, but now that I am using them today, these are beautiful products. And I'm really happy how everything's looking. And it's not looking super rosy, which is good because I'm going in with like a really vampy lip today. And when I go in with a vampy lip, I like warmth and color in the face, but I don't want it to be too, too much. Because everything that claims to be long wear is not long wear on me because of how oily I tend to get, I'm gonna take a tiny bit more powder and just lightly set all of that down. Not enough to in any way like cover up that color, but just to lock it in place. This is the Jouer Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. It's not a mattifying powder. It is a hydrating powder uh, with hyaluronic acid in it, so very hydrating, but it still gives you that smooth airbrushed finish. And I'm gonna move on to lip. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Artist Colored Pencil in the shade Free Burgundy, which is a really vampy purpley red. And now that the base of the lip is done, I'm going to grab from my BoxyCharm this month as well, the Bare Minerals Lipstick. This is in the shade Integrity, which is a little bit lighter, so I think they're going to ombre together really beautifully. And a tiny bit of setting spray to lock it all in. And that is the finished look, and honestly, I have missed fall glam because I have not felt this gorgeous and like sultry in a really long time. I'm loving the taupey neutrally eye. I wish it was a little more green, but the color does tend to pull a little bit more of that like gray green, but I'm not mad at it. And I'm getting very old Hollywood glamour vibes with this rich lip. Let me know your thoughts down below on everything we tried today, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.